First, we're going to look at the sphere. All right, so I kind of have a light spot here that where the window is making some light, so we're going to pretend it's not there. Um, but you can see how that illuminates the side of the sphere. But if I turn my light on, oh, then it really illuminates things. And we can see kind of how the shadows and the light will fall on it to make it look three-dimensional. Right here, you can see that we have a shape that's light, and then it gets a little bit darker and just a little bit darker until you get a really nice dark shadow over on that side. And if I move around to different sides where the light's going to fall, you can see that I've got a light area here. And you can see how the shadow will curve. You see how the shadow curves? To make your sphere look three-dimensional, you have to have a curved shadow. Okay, so we're going to draw that. Time to shade the sphere. For starters, we need to start with a circle. I'm going to draw two because I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. I have two different ways. One is called North Pole, South Pole kind. So if I have the light coming from here, then I'm going to make a North Pole and a South Pole like a globe on either side of this sphere. And I'm going to shade starting on the dark side and I'm going to make the shading of the darkest part go all the way around half of this sphere like a crescent moon and then it's slowly going to get lighter as I go so I'm going to count that mark as maybe an area where I want to start going lighter so round and round and round she goes scumbling shading fairly dark okay and you slowly lighten as you go when you get to this halfway point the shading lines start curving this direction so make sure you do that okay they shade that way they don't keep going this way because that'll look like a beach ball or no not even a beach ball it won't look good let's just say that it won't look like a sphere so we're going to slowly shade I'm going to do this, and you can give it a try. Notice how the light highlight side goes from the North Pole to the South Pole, too, all the way around. There's another technique I like to use. I call it the eyeball or the olive and pimento style. That's when you kind of have a round highlight, a spot that's getting hit really directly with the light really close to it. And then slowly these circles will get bigger. Not like this, straight across or flat. Very circular shading lines because a, severe, a sphere is circular. Um, no lines on it anywhere. So again, you're going to start on the darkest side, and look at that, kind of a crescent half moon again. And this time, we're going to continue to shade round in a circle, and slowly get lighter until we get to this highlight spot. So again, you'll notice that using your eraser is really nice to get that highlight popped out. The highlight should stay white, okay? I don't want light gray. I don't want dark gray. I want to see a light highlight. One way to make the highlight look white is to make the background kind of gray. So if the background's kind of gray, then this highlight's going to pop out. Ha! Huh, would you look at that? Works kind of cool. That's a sphere. Now let's look at a cube. Without the light, 
Oh, look at that. Here's the dark side. The, there was a window over here, so you can see how the light's hitting this top to make it lighter. This is a medium value, and this is the darkest value. That's when the light is coming from the back. If I turn my light on, and you can see the light coming from the top, and this side, then this becomes the light side, this becomes the medium, and this becomes the dark. And you can kind of see that they're fairly flat values, meaning there's not a lot of gradation in this light value, not a lot of difference of gradation in the dark value, nor is there a lot of difference in the dark value. Ignore this little piece here. I couldn't find, well, you, it's, you don't have to ignore it, I guess, because the light's not hitting this side, um, it's darker. But if we're doing like a real life, we're just going to draw a cube. We're not going to have that on there. That's a cube. Light, medium, dark. Three different Time values. to create a cube. We're just going to draw it very simply. In other words, we're just going to draw a square. And we're going to do a modified perspective drawing where we'll take an angle and draw this angle going back and then just move your pencil, kind of help you get the same angle here, and then the same angle here. You notice how I draw really lightly until I know that the line is where I want it to be, and then I'll just draw these parallel right here. Okay, now, uh, as you saw in my other videos, that if the light is coming from a certain area, we'll have three different values. Um, say I've got the light coming right here. Pretend this sphere is a big giant sun or something. If the light's coming from here, then it's going to come and it's going to hit directly onto the top. So that's going to be the lightest value. It's going to hit some of this side if it's from over here. So we're going to make that medium. And it's not going to hit anything over here. So that's going to be the darkest value. So I like again to start with a dark value and just put it in nice and dark. And again, go more than one direction so that you don't get lines and you're just going to fill that in fairly dark then we'll work with the medium value pretty simple I'm going to leave the light value just white I think that's easy so basically a cube has a light medium and dark side and I'm going to finish There we go. There's my cube.